So one question that I get asked quite a bit is how did I crop and export my photos for Instagram? I did a video on this a couple of years ago, but over time my settings have kind of changed of how I like to do things. Sometimes you might've noticed on some of my recent Instagram posts that I've put kind of borders around those. I'm not really gonna discuss that today. I could talk about that later. If you would like to hear about it, leave that in the comment section below. But more importantly, what I wanna talk about today is how to maximize your crops and your exports so you're getting the most high quality photos that go on Instagram. Now there's three types of crops that you can do. There is the landscape or the horizontal mode. There is the portrait or the vertical mode. And then there's also the traditional square crop that Instagram kind of started out on. I'm going to show you how to do all three today as well as how to export those with the best possible settings to up your Instagram game but let's hop into it. Firstly, let's go ahead and export this as a landscape photo that has the right proportions for Instagram. So the first thing you wanna do, once you get all your edits done, everything's ready to go, just go ahead and click on your crop tool over here. And right here where it says aspect original, just go ahead and click on that. And we're gonna to go to enter custom because you might not have this particular setting just yet. And when you do that, this little dialog box is gonna come up. It's gonna say aspect ratio 1.0 by 1.0 more than likely. What I want you to do is to change that to 1.91 and then leave this 1.000 on the other side and go ahead and click okay. So that's gonna give you a 1.91 to one ratio and that's gonna kind of give you this better landscape look. So what you wanna do at this point is just choose where your crop needs to go, go ahead and hit done. Now at this point, what you need to do is go to file export, and then here's what we do with the export settings. Create a subfolder on your desktop if you want, choose your export location, whatever. I do nothing with file name, not a video. So here's what's the important part though, is the file settings and the image sizing. So what we want here is obviously to make this a JPEG. I use the sRGB color space. And as far as quality, anywhere is between 70 and 100% are gonna be great. I would say just go ahead and leave this at 100 and you're good to go. Now the image sizing, I don't click anything here, but I do make sure that my resolution is at 72 pixels per inch. The reason we do this is the output on monitors is 72 pixels. Anything else is overkill. It's not going to show that. That is for printing purposes. So that's where you want to set that section. As far as output sharpening, I have that turned off. Metadata, all that's fine. No watermarks, whatever. Go ahead and hit export and you're good to go on that one. Now let's say, for example, you had a, uh, a horizontal image, but you want this to actually be a vertical and not uh, in that horizontal landscape. So what you need to do is with your crop tool selection here, just hit X on your keyboard, and that's gonna convert this to more of a vertical shape, and that will allow you to crop it in in a different section that way. You still gotta go in and get to proportions, so let's go ahead and take a look at that. So if this was say a vertical image to start with, or if you convert a horizontal to vertical, all you have to do to crop this for Instagram to get that maximum portrait look is to go to a four by five and an eight by 10 here, and then that will allow you to do your crop accordingly. So if I wanna make this a little bit bigger, I can do that, go ahead and hit done, and there is my portrait crop for Instagram as well. And the same rules apply, just export it with those same settings I just mentioned a moment ago, and of course, the third option you can do here for this, we're just going to go back to as shot and we're going to change this to a one by one. It's going to give us a perfect square crop here. Going to hit done. And there's how you do your square crop. And again, the export settings for that are exactly the same as well. Now, when you do get into the Instagram app, here's what you want to make sure that you do. So now you can't exactly upload to Instagram from your computer just like you would on your phone, but there is a little bit of a tweak you can do to this. I do have a tutorial if you want to click the link above but I'm gonna do it really quickly on the computer so that way I can show you what you need to do when you actually upload this stuff. So once you have Instagram pulled up on your phone or if you wanna watch my tutorial to learn the computer method, you can do that as well. You wanna select the image that you wanna upload. Just go ahead and let it do its thing. Now always be sure that you hit these two little uh, arrows here in the corner because that's gonna 
put the full image in there. If you don't do that and you upload this way, Instagram is going to crop it to this square look it does automatically. So if you have a full size portrait or landscape, you're not going to see that unless you hit those arrows. From that point forward, you just hit next. You go through the process, put on your captions, tag your friends and your locations, and you're pretty much complete at that point. So as far as uploading Instagram photos, that's it. That's my method. That's my uh, process on that. If you'd like to know more in depth about why I do it certain ways or how I get these specs, be sure to leave that in the comment section below. If you'd like to see more videos like this or have other questions on how to better edit photos or get things just set up for Instagram in general, also leave that in the comment section below and I'll do the best I can to make a video on that.